Welcome back to the NFL Report. James Palmer, Steve Weich with you. And Steve, we are joined by our first repeat guest. Let's go. And it's only <laughs> fitting that Kenny Moore of the Indianapolis Colts joins Let's us go. as our first repeat, Steve. Because, Kenny, you know what we think of your position. On this show, how much we love talking about the slot corner spot and how much we love to break down what you do in the middle of the field. First, though, I have to say thank you for joining us. And secondly, congratulations on the contract. What's the first thing that goes through your mind once you know that is signed, sealed, delivered, and you know that you're locked in? What goes through Kenny Moore's mind? First off, it's great to be back with you guys to be the first repeat. That's pretty awesome. Um, The first thing that went through through my mind whenever – we got the contract, you know, signed, sealed, and d- delivered. Um, I was just thinking about, you know, I'm ready to go work again because I know I know where I'll be at. Woo. I know the people that I'll be with. Uh, you know, I get to see all my friends again. So uh, from here, we just got to, you know, put some banners up and um, go back to work. So I'm, I'm fully excited to, to be with the organization again. And then, like I said, just to know, you know, where I'll be. I love that you're excited to be with the organization again. But, Kenny, I mean, there was a lot of reports at least that, they, nobody was real certain that was going to be the case. Were you were you close with any other teams? Um, I mean, yeah, there were negotiations and talks with you know uh, quite a few teams, but um, the Colts they were in it the entire way. They they never pulled out. They never uh, you know came into the talks. You know later later on in, in the uh, the process, but. Um, they, they stuck it out the entire way, and, you know, they believed in me, and they wanted me back nice. in the organization. I'm glad to be back. So so with that, I mean, they wanted you back in the organization. What does it feel like as a player, though, to know you've had an impact on a community and on a club as to where they invested with you the way they did in three more years? Oh, uh, man, that's a great question. Um, they just know what I give at this point. Um, you know, one thing of knowing, you know, I guess what a player does and, and knowing what he gives, I think, you know, the world of that, you know, they value and appreciate, you know, not only the player that I am, but the person I am throughout the community and how I'm able to make an impact and uh, just being uh, the kind of guy that wants, you know, everybody to be included. So, uh, yeah, it's a great image to have on such a prestige in, uh, organization. I love that. And, and Kenny, you, you signed this contract three years, $30 million, yet you're the highest paid guy for about, I don't know, a day, couple days, and Taron Johnson gets paid too, and it's right up there with yours. What, I, I want to know, does that bug you at all? But also, what is it like seeing you guys in this role, when I talk to defensive coordinators and how important it is that you guys are getting your due yep. playing this position? Um, I like to say, you know, we're just pioneers of the position. Uh, you know, we wear the heavy hat. Yes. We wear the hard hat. Uh, we, we do a lot of things that uh, make a lot of things come together. And, uh, you know, for this position to be rotating that safety, to be able to blitz, to be able to cover, and to be able to, you know, read zones and, and read the quarterback. And uh, it's a lot of things that we got to uh, be able to do to be able to be uh, uh, yep. a inside cornerback or a slot cornerback, you know, the outside corners, everybody can't do it. And so, um, you know, Teron, <laughs> whenever he, whenever he uh, made the jump to be the next highest paid, um, it was really great for him. It was great for the position. And I think he and I and, and many more to come, you know, we got to walk for, you know, the others to run, you know, later in the day, later in, later in football. So I think we're just making history here. And, um, you know, we're all just trying to play the position awesome. at, the, at the highest level. We just need, you know, more nickels to do the same thing. Yeah, and this is music to our ears because, like James said, we, we love that slot DB position, we especially do. at a time when you're seeing, like, you know, the regular safeties are, are floating out there on the market like they are, so teams are reprioritizing. But you talked earlier, Kenny, about saying you're back in Indianapolis with your friends. The Colts have re-signed so many players that were free agents there, going from Zaire Franklin to some of the players like that to Michael Pittman, um, the wide receiver. And, and, and what about, you know, bringing back so many players, especially a guy like Pittman, who you probably bang with a lot in practice? You said, what is it like? Yeah, bringing back so many guys who, you know, who've been there before. Yeah, just having that continuity. Uh, you know, I was there a couple years in before Michael Pittman Jr. came into the Colts facility and you know, I'm able to watch him grow uh, th- over the years. You know, I was there when Zaire was 
on the brink of going to another team, you know, getting cut his rookie year to now he's been extended. Um, it's been great. And his role has been, you know, the leader of the defense. He's been, you know, with myself and Buck. You know, we're all just trying to do this thing together. And uh, if we're going to win, we want to win together. So we don't want to see anybody leave. We want to make sure that, you know, we stay accountable to each other and make sure we put the the hard work in, you know, day in and day out. And we can go out here and win some games together. Uh, you know, there's, there's guys that I'm actually proud of, you know, as the people that they are to, you know, seeing them grow. You guys won some games. I'll say right here on this show, Kenny, I thought your head coach should have been coach of the year in what Shane Steichen was able to do in his first year in Indianapolis. Now Gardner Minshew is out of the building, even though he played great, subbing in for Anthony Richardson throughout the course of the season. Now this is AR's, AR's team. What have you seen or heard or talked to your quarterback about moving forward with him being the guy and the face of your franchise if you're going to win more of these games in year two with your head coach and your quarterback? I think he has enough people in his ear, you know, telling him of what we need. And uh, I'm pretty sure he knows exactly, you know, the position that he's in. They've given him an cr incredible um, position to be in, to lead the Colts, to lead the, the city of Indianapolis mm -hmm. uh, to win. So um, I talked to him on the day that I signed back and he was fired up to have me back. And I was the same way, just having him as, as my quarterback nice. and, and him there, you know, being supportive. But uh, I'm ready to go, and I'm ready to be supportive of him this spring as he gets back on the field and uh, see what we can do together. Yeah, look, he made some more fans in Indianapolis with his Good Love Samaritan it. Act the other day, taking somebody whose car broke down to the shop and giving yeah. some money to buy some tools to change his tire. So good for him. Kenny Moore, thank you so much. We wish you had more time. But again, thanks for joining us again. Congratulations on everything. First repeat. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. First repeat, much Steve.